A family whose three-year-old son drowned on a family vacation to Fort Morgan has teamed up with an Olympic gold medalist to spread a simple message about drowning. It's a message they wish they had known before their son died last year. Here's News 5's Devin Walsh. What did dinosaur say? When you see three-year-old Levi Hughes' precious face, what did he say? it's hard to believe he's gone. This little boy practically lived in his life jacket or swimmy while on family vacation. Hey, are you eating a Minion ice cream? But last year, he drowned. His lifeless body found in the bottom of a swimming pool. He was wearing his yellow crab shirt. My husband flipped him upside down, like took him and flipped him upside down and kind of shook him and said, Leva, how many crabs are we going to catch tonight? And Leva said, so many, Dad. Um, and then that was my husband's final interaction with the son. He was taken by helicopter to USA Children's and Women's Hospital. And I walked out and just out of habit, I glanced over the balcony and, um, you know, at the bottom of the deep end, it was just this bright flash of yellow. The Hughes family of Tennessee was staying in this condo on Fort Morgan with several other families as they did every year. They were inside eating brownies when somehow Levi slipped out the door. I've gone back, I've gone back on repeat. I have, I have grabbed my shoulders and, and turn around, turn, what, how do you not see him? I don't know how we did not see him. And somehow he got out of a room filled with adults and kids and and I don't know how. Mom Nicole Hughes says they took every precaution to keep the children out of the pool, but somehow, in just seconds, Levi escaped. I didn't even know he was missing. It, it was so quick. Nicole has joined forces with Olympic skier Bodie Miller and his wife Morgan, who lost their two-year-old daughter Emmy to drowning at the same time last year. Drowning is the single leading cause of death in children ages one to four. They put together a public service announcement to let people know a simple truth about drowning. As a mom, I want other parents to know how fast drowning can happen. It takes moments. You have to be vigilant as if it's a lion waiting to snatch your child. Their main message is that 70% of children drown during non swim times. That means times when families are not outside at the beach, times when they're not together outside swimming in the pool. Our son died a 100% prevent, preventable death and we were both in the room. That's hard. The Millers and Hughes families are united in unthinkable tragedy, but they want to do what they can to make other families aware of how drowning can happen to any family, even vigilant parents. You can keep your child from drowning. You do not want to have to drive back from the beach without one of your kids. Nicole has since given birth to another daughter, but the Hughes family will never be complete without little Levi. Devin Walsh, WKRG News 5. Hughes recommends you start survival swimming lessons early, even as young as six months old. She has also started a Water Guardians program, and you can learn more about that by going to this story at WKRG.com.